So, I got this cheap Captain Phasma and I wanted to jizz it up because it just wasn't clearly chrome. So, I masked it up using masking tape, scissors and X-Acto knife and brought a sanding block and just lightly scratched, I don't know if this will pick it up, lightly scratched the shiny surface. You can see just under this area, it's a bit shinier because it's hard to get to. Those little scratches. So I could have done a better job with the uh, with the masking tape. However, you get these little bits sticking up. Just make sure the bits that you want to paint are free and clear. I have actually washed this down afterwards as well, but you can feel like a slight roughness now. So that will give something for the paint to adhere to. Brought these two paints. No idea what they like, got them in Hobbycraft in the UK, I think they were 4 75 each. Uh, one's a black gloss, this one, fast dry black gloss, and the other one is, yo, there we go, yeah you guessed it, it's supposed to be chrome. If it comes out like that, I'll be amazed. But it's got to be better than this awful grey that this figure came with, that is not even metallic, it's really bad. So fingers crossed, I'll um, get it sprayed up and we'll see how we go. So, as expected, those cans were small. One can of black, and it's used up completely. But I have got good coverage. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was, in certain parts of the mould, there was some ripples on the body. And already, with this black paint, those ripples now can't be seen. So, give it 45 minutes. Luckily, it's a nice day. There's no wind. Hardly any spray over. I had that standing up behind it. And a plastic cover on my... Uh, Dolly, as I like to call it, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So I gave it its first spray, first coat I guess you could call it, with that chrome. Um, ran out of black paint covering it, but this silver paint well, lasted much longer. Um, I think the black gloss coat underneath probably helped that. A couple of little minor runs, um, which are not good, but they're going to be covered by the cloak anyway. So that's just me putting too much on, um, just being an idiot. But other than that, it's so much better than it was. For the sake of 10 quid, those two little tins and a little bit of time, already she's so much better than it was. Anyway, we'll let it dry in the sun and we'll see what happens when it's finished. Only using one tin on this and it worked well. Top tip, leave it to dry for a lot longer than you would think. Mine was dry for a day and removing the masking tape was just how it was still wet so just watch you end up putting sticky fingerprints all over it and then just tied in some of the black, repaint some of the black areas. They're not perfect but considering what a cheap nasty toy it was it now looks had a lot better. Anyway I hope you enjoy. Cheers, bye.